Memnagri? Memnagiri? Memnagiri? I can spell or say words. I know what, it, what the fuck. I'm doing. So I don't know how to pronounce that. Actually, wait, I'm curious. What the fuck? Apparently it means lamb in Hindi. Uh, okay. Memnagiri. Memnagiri is how it's pronounced in English. Is how this says. Memnagiri. Okay. Uh, so that's a thing. <laughs> I don't know which character this will be though. Obviously this picture has nothing to do with that because I guess just no one updated the IMDB page. I don't know who does that. I mean, it's probably not going to be Twilight. I'm assuming that's going to be the sixth one. I'm going to guess Fluttershy though, just because like for some reason that word makes me think of uh, the sanctuary. Wait, what does that mean? Okay, so there's a similar word. Oh, wait, right. Menagerie. Right, this is like a... It's like a zoo, kind of, but like a... Yeah, basically a zoo. Okay, so then... So then this is just a pun on that word. Got all of how I'm just dissecting... <laughs> I'm fucking dissecting the name of this, trying to find the meaning. It's just a pun. All of these are puns on the word memory. But yeah, so it's, it's gonna be a Fluttershy one, because it's about animals. Okay, so Fluttershy's my least hated character, so see if I hate this one the least. <laughs> so Fluttershy's doing a swans. <laughs> Prepare everyone. Said everyone again. I, it's so funny. Every time they say everyone, it is so cursed now because I'm so used to them saying every pony. Oh, it's so weird. So how is Fluttershy gonna be doing the talk about a talking thing? Was that English? Maybe. Forever. <clears throat> oh, is this not gonna end up in the book? Oh, okay, so now they're just talking about all the stage fright stuff. Okay. <laughs> Being a fucking jackass. Haha, uh -huh. good at being ridiculous. I probably said the same fucking thing. She said she's so good at being ridiculous. Whatever. Oh, this is like, uh, this is a return to Flutter Guy. I don't want the deep, the deep manly voice. Oh, then here's this lore dump. Tradition. That was a weird noise. That, like, sound from, like, slapping her eyebrows or eyelashes. Animals. I don't know, I'm actually kind of getting bored now. Maybe this is just because it's the third one I've watched so far. And then they just said assertiveness, though, so this is all the assertive moments. Oh, no. Go, go. Oh, it's when the fanboys were obsessed with their book. I still can't believe I remember all, so many of these moments. It's not even six minutes into this episode. It feels like it's been a long time. It might just be because I've watched two other things. Oh, there's emo Fluttershy. <laughs> oh no. Now she becomes the Hulk. The vein on her neck. <laughs> Okay, this moment. I guess the rest of this is gonna be when what's her face, Glimmer and Spike come over here. Oh, the stare, the like two times she used it in the whole show. No, it's probably like got stoned. Oh, squealing. The stare. Oh, turning to stone. The stare. Yeah, I kind of just feel nothing now though. Like at first I was just get annoyed and like whatever. Oh no, bees don't care about stares. Now Fluttershy is getting impaled. Impaled. Oh, I do actually remember this. This is, uh, this is in after she was, like, she had to, like, fly fast, but she only flew slow, and then she got really upset and had, like, a panic attack. This was, like, a good representation of that feeling and stuff. I don't know. I'm kind of just waiting for it to end at this point, because this is the third one I'm watching in a row. <sighs> This is all the times where she really cared about animals or whatever. This guy's fucking voice. Wait, never. When was this? Oh, the this is the second episode. Cause the they each had to do their own little they had to show their their little thing, their one attribute. <gasps> So weird, they just did the, like, thing where they, like, snorted, like, actual horses. Oh, no, I don't care. Yeah, I remember that moment. Twilight's trying to get Spike to be bait. Well, there's Fluttershy talking like a 40-year-old mother. There isn't much going on here. So I haven't Glimmer and Spike showed up yet, though. <laughs> None of her ideas are important. That's self-doubt or whatever. Why is why the fuck does Spike look like he's like a looks like he's like high on weed and he just like woke up from a bad trip? There's only six minutes left. They still haven't brought up the little thing with Spike and uh, Starlight. What the most frustrating? <laughs> they call it Discord. The most frustrating be being in existence. Now he did start out as kind of my favorite character, but then he just kind of became obnoxious. I don't know. He's definitely. I think he's definitely the most interesting character in the show. Like the most original idea. Yeah, the most unique villain and all that. Oh, this is more of a Discord clip than a Fluttershy clip, though. And there's the first time his waifu stands up for him. What the hell? Oh. I guess this is just a Discord compilation thing. Oh, there's that moment again. <laughs> that joke again. Bless the beastie. Uh, what if an episode was this from? Is this the one where they, like, first took him out of the statue? Oh, 
his friends, his waifu, uh, starting to feel tired again. I don't know, this, this one is just not, I don't know. It hasn't had that many moments. Oh, duh. Wow, I'm an idiot. How did I not see that coming? The whole point, this was all an act just to get her to remember all the things. How did I not see that coming? I guess that was a clever way of doing this. I just, I, I, I didn't see it coming at all. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it was the Fluttershy one. So basically, Twilight goes to see the progress of Fluttershy's animals and their performance, and they all suck, and then Fluttershy is losing confidence, so Twilight helps her remember why she was all important or whatever, why she's good with animals. Turns out, though, that the whole thing was an act just to get Twilight to say a bunch of memories and stuff for the, the journal book thing, and somehow I didn't see that coming. So I guess that was like a little clever moment there. Uh, so I'll give it credit for that. It was kind of boring, though. I mean, I guess not more boring than the others, but maybe it's just because this is the third one I've watched in a row. Though this will be the last one for right now. I'll watch the other, the other three later. But yeah, this is just kind of whatever. Going through all, all the Fluttershy moments. I guess this has been kind of weird seeing all the different things that the characters have done. Like, because with that first one, it made me think it was going to be the same format for all of them, but it's kind of just whatever each of the characters have done. But there are, like, a lot more ongoing things that all the characters have done throughout these. <sighs> Man, I feel tired. I don't know what to give this for a rating, though. I mean, I guess three and a half out of ten. Can't believe I'm rating the Fluttershy one lower than the Pinky one, though. Like, what? This is just kind of boring, though. So, yeah, there's not much to say about this. I am still surprised, though, how many of these moments I actually do remember. Like, as forgettable as this, as so many of these episodes are, somehow I still remember them after I see parts of the episode. I don't know. It's weird. Mm.